want you. I'll tell you what. I trust you more than him. That's good. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, before we begin, uh, it is truly an honor and a pleasure to once again participate in this family symposium. And I just want to take just a few moments prior to the actual bris, just to say a few words. And before I do that, I just want to express a hearty mouth to both the Pam and to Jonathan and to the sister on the birth of this very handsome young man. May they only have many, many years of nachats from this young man. He should grow up to be a source of pride to the parents, all the grandparents. Where's the rest of the family? Where is she? Hiding? Yeah. Hiding. You don't have to hide. Okay. Uh, and to the great grandparents and to all those that he comes in contact with. In the first of the five books of our Torah, God says to Abraham to take his son Yitzchak, the other male members of their household, and circumcise them on the eighth day. So the question is asked, Abraham was told to do that over 4,000 years ago. Why does Pam have to do it today? And the answer is that Abraham was very unique, very special. He was the very first person to believe in the idea and the concept of monotheism. Monotheism is a big, big word that means one God. But, but Abraham said, I'm not going to keep this idea to myself. So he went throughout the world at that time to spread this belief. And according to our Torah, what he actually did was he put up a tent. 